Good day everyone! How are you today? I hope you're fine. We are now going to discuss about representing real-life situations using rational functions. Polynomial function P of degree N. Function that can be written in the form P of X is equal to A sub N X to the power of N plus A sub N minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 x to the power of n minus 2 plus ellipsis plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 where a sub 0, a sub 1, ellipsis until a sub n is an element of real numbers and n is a positive integer. Rational function. It is a function of the form f of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions and q of x is not the zero function. The domain of f of x is the set of all values of x, where q of x is not equal to zero. The local barangay received a budget of 100,000 pesos to provide medical checkups for the children in the barangay. The amount is to be allotted equally among all the children in the barangay. Write an equation representing the relationship of the allotted amount per child or the y variable versus the total children or the x variable. So the equation is y is equal to 100,000 over x. If x is equal to 10, so y is equal to 100,000 over 10. So y is equal to 10,000 pesos. If x is equal to 20, y is equal to 100,000 over 20. So y is equal to 5,000 pesos. If x is equal to 50, so y is equal to 100,000 over 50. So y is equal to 2,000 pesos. If x is equal to 100, y is equal to 100,000 over 100. So y is equal to 1,000 pesos. If x is equal to 200, y is equal to 100,000 over 200. So y is equal to 500 pesos. If x is equal to 300, y is equal to 100,000 over 300. So y is equal to 333 and 33 cents. If x is equal to 500, y is equal to 100,000 over 500. So y is equal to 200 pesos. If x is equal to 1,000, y is equal to 100,000 over 1,000. So y is equal to 100 pesos. Rational function. A function of the form f of x is equal to p of x over q of x where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions and q of x is not the zero function. The domain of f of x is all the values of x where q of x is not equal to zero. Example an object is to travel a distance of 10 meters. Express velocity v as a function v of t of travel time t in seconds. So the distance there is 10 meters. An object is to travel a distance of 10 meters. Express velocity v as a function v of t of time, travel time t. In seconds so V is equal to D over T as 
what you have learned in your science class. Velocity is equal to distance over time. If t is equal to 1, so v is equal to 10 over 1, so the velocity is 10 meters per second. If t is equal to 2 seconds, so v is equal to 10 over 2, so that means that the velocity is 5 meters per second. If t is equal to 4, so v is equal to 10 over 4, or the velocity is 2.5 meters per second. If t is equal to 5, so the velocity is equal to 10 over 5, so that is 2 meters per second. If t is equal to 10 seconds, so v is equal to 10 over 10 or 1 meter per second. The function v of t is equal to 10 over t can represent v as a function of t. Example Suppose that c of t is equal to 5t over t squared plus 1 in milligrams per milliliter represents the concentration of a drug in a patient's bloodstream t hours after the drug was administered. Construct a table of values for C of T for T is equal to 1, 2, 5, and 10. Round off the digits in three decimal places. If T is equal to 1, then C of 1 is equal to 5 multiplied by 1 over 1 squared plus 1. That is equal to 5 over 2 which is equal to 2.5. If t is equal to 2, then c of 2 is equal to 5 multiplied by 2 over 2 squared plus 1, which is equal to 10 over 4 plus 1, which is equal to 10 over 5, which is equal to 2 milligrams per milliliter. If t is equal to 5, then c of 5 is equal to 5 multiplied by 5 over 5 squared plus 1, which is equal to 25 over 25 plus 1, which is eventually would be equal to 25 over 26, which is equal to 0 0.962. If t is equal to 10, then c of 10 is equal to 5 multiplied by 10 over 10 squared plus 1 which is equal to 50 over 100 plus 1 which is equal to 50 over 101 which is equal to 0 0.495 milligrams per milliliter Suppose the amount of bacteria growing in a petri dish is represented by the function b of t is equal to 50t over t plus 1, where 0 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 20. In other words, it is between 0 to 20 hours, where t is the hours and b of t in millions. Evaluate the function at t is equal to 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, and 20. Then interpret the results. If t is equal to 1, then b of 1 is equal to 50 times 1 over 1 plus 1. So that is 50 over 2 which is 25. If t is equal to 2, then b of 2 is equal to 50 times 2 over 2 plus 1, which is equal to 100 over 3, which is equal to 33.333. If t is equal to 5, then b of 5 is equal to 50 times 5 over 5 plus 1, 
which is equal to 250 over 5 plus 1, which is equal to 250 over 6, which is equal to 41.667. If t is equal to 10, then b of 10 is equal to 50 times 10 over 10 plus 1, which is equal to 500 over 10 plus 1, which is equal to 500 over 11, which is equal to 45.454. If t is equal to 15, then b of 15 is equal to 50 times 15 over 15 plus 1, which is equal to 750 over 15 plus 1 which is equal to 750 over 16 which is equal to 46.875 if t is equal to 20 then b of 20 is equal to 50 times 20 over 20 plus 1 which is equal to 1000 over 20 plus 1 which is equal to 1000 over 21 which is equal to 47.619 so as the time increases the number of bacteria also increases now here are the references by Reyes Edward C general mathematics quarter 1 module 2 relational functions of Lepid Northern Mindanao and general mathematics step ed teaching guide and here are the photo references thank you very much for watching and listening keep safe and subscribe to analyze math